hello dear student welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video we will see practical number 6 of computer application in pharmacy uh, subject code bp 210p uh, so this practical it is related with an earlier practical of an ms data access so in that practical we have seen how to create a database of an patient record uh, so in this uh, practical we will see just how to view it how to view the database and how to add any information and how to delete and how to modify the patient record in the database so this practical it is quite uh, for that purpose you should understand firstly and fifth practical then you can we will understand and sixth practical so step by step you can do this practical fifth and sixth so for more information subscribe my channel and also like the video uh, some more updates or uh, some more videos related with your course they are available on my channel so just you can subscribe and also like the video and also check other playlist on my channel in earlier practical we have seen how to create uh, patient information in the ms database so uh, it is the next part of that earlier practical uh, i have given the description in the link link in the description box you can see the link of the earlier practical or you can check the playlist open it now Uh, so in the earlier practical we have seen this uh, i have done three entries in the last practical uh, now i have done fourth one of an, one more entry uh, now by this way you can uh, add some more entries uh, as we have seen in the earlier practical so this practical is that you can view the information you can add, modify the information you can delete the information and also you can add some information so how to do all this thing in a time Uh, see here you can add one by one information uh, by using this data sheet but in case someone is standing behind you or you don't want to show on the screen so you can add one by one uh, with the use of a different form or you can view the information by a different form uh, so for that purpose what i will do so here i will go in a create uh, see in 2007 uh, it it will be in more forms but in 2016 what i am having or 2019 or 2021 a form wizard you can find it over here so go just on the tab of form wizard and click on the form wizard see here the table it was a patient information that we have uh, made a table in the last practical of patients you know, of an table information so i will just not click on id because id if you remember that we have set it in automatic this id it comes automatic so what i will do i will one by one uh, select the fields so there are double arrows and single arrows if i click on a single arrow only that field will come uh, if i click on a double arrow all the fields they will come if you want to minimize or if you want to remove some more fields you can uh, also remove by this way Uh, so these are right and left click single single and uh, so here I suppose i want to remove the referred doctor field so i can uh, remove it so by this way also you can modify it but i need that field so i will keep it uh, only id field i will not keep it because it is automatic it is automatically generating so just click on the next uh, so here you can Uh, as per your convenience you can do it uh, suppose you if you want uh, information in tableau form it will come in tableau form data sheet if you require in data sheet justified you can make it justified so i will make in a columnar form uh, so that will be convenient for me so i will just click on next and here there are two option modify the form design so there is no need of modification so if uh, open the form to view or enter the information so i can do it Uh, so here from here also you can modify the form design we will come back for that uh, purpose once again back uh, so just i will finish that view of form uh, so there will be one more tab here you can see now that patient information it was an earlier tab and uh, after that there is one more tab that is patient information too now it is coming in the uh, column number 4 uh, 
so it was a patient information so uh, you can also view it suppose uh, i require an information of a patient suppose patil so here it is a search option just click uh, patil you will have see this patil ganesh samadhan it was a third entry uh, in my record so by this way you can view it one by one you can view it or if you want to modify it you can modify it also uh, suppose here i made that i want dr gaikar for for a reference so i will click on the dr gaikar reference and also from by this way uh, see there are four entries four of four if i want to add one more entry then i can add it suppose next patient is suppose first name it is uh, ganesh so last name it is rao and father name it is vijay suppose and date of birth so i will enter date of birth something like uh, which is convenient for me uh, mail his and at post suppose i will write uh, ahmednagar so you can add it some more details of an address uh, like i will add a zip code after that consulting doctor so consulting doctor i will put dr savan and contact number so i will put 33333 and suppose uh, now i want dr dolus for a reference doctor so uh, coming back to this information uh, just click over here you can see that patient information what we have entered like ganesh rao vijay uh, was the patient name but here we cannot see that patient information so just what i will do uh, so i will close uh, this one and after that i will close this one also just it is just like an refreshing it once again open it and now you can see that we have put this ganesh rao vijay so that it has came so you need to close and again open that form uh, for refreshment then only you can see the record so by this way you can view it you can delete uh, record if you want to delete the record you can delete it also you can modify the uh, form also so this was about today's practical if you are having any queries you can comment me in the comment box i will definitely answer your question so thank you for watching the video